Hello friends. In this video, we will explore the different types of brain waves, and their possible usage and advantages. So without further ado, let's get started. What are the different types of brain waves? The electrical activity of the brain, is known as brain waves. They are measured in cycles per second, or hertz based on their frequency or speed, using electroencephalography EEG. Brain waves range in frequency from 0 to 140 hertz. There are mainly five types of brain waves, known as delta, theta, alpha, beta, and gamma. But there are two other types of brain waves, that don't get much attention. They are, epsilon waves and lambda waves. Let's examine it in descending order from fastest to slowest. 1. Gamma waves. Gamma wave is a pattern of neural oscillations that occurs in humans between 25 and 140 Hz, with 40 Hz of particular relevance, because it is the fastest of the brain wave's bandwidth. These waves are associated with sensory information processing, decision-making, and attentional control. Gamma waves, have also been linked to higher states of consciousness. According to a study, these frequencies support a person's ability to maintain wakefulness when awake. Role of gamma waves in maintaining brain health. Concentration, creativity, and problem solving are all enhanced by gamma waves. It has been demonstrated that they lower stress and anxiety levels. Gamma waves can be used to stimulate areas of the brain that regulate mood, sleep cycles, and memory. This type of stimulation has been shown to improve symptoms in patients with Alzheimer's disease, schizophrenia, epilepsy, mild traumatic brain injury, stroke, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, ADHD, and depression. Here's an example. At number 2, beta waves. Beta waves or beta rhythm oscillates between 12 Hz to 38 Hz range, which is subdivided into three categories, namely Low beta ranges from 12.5 to 16 Hz and occurs when you're thinking. Beta waves range from 16.5 to 20 Hz and occur when you're engaged in activities or paying attention to something. High beta ranges from 20.5 to 38 hertz and occurs when you're excited or nervous as well as when you experience something new or have complex thoughts role of beta waves in maintaining brain health the use of beta waves may aid in increasing focus and alertness a useful indicator of how much activity and metabolism are taking place in your brain is beta power when you are concentrating on something, that is mentally demanding, beta tends to become less rhythmic. This is related, to higher brain metabolism, and blood oxygenation. A 2019 study found that, people who were exposed, to beta pattern frequencies, had stronger long-term memory. Here's an example. At number 3, Alpha Waves. Alpha Waves, produce a frequency range, of 8 to 12 Hz. 85% of adults, have a resting alpha rhythm, between 9.5 to 10.5 Hz, and that is the last stage, before falling asleep. Alpha Waves, are also known as, the relaxed awake state, because they occur, during meditation, and light hypnosis role of alpha waves in maintaining brain health alpha waves can be used to induce relaxation and sleep you can accomplish deep work more easily by entering a flow state utilizing your brain's alpha waves alpha waves have also been found to improve focus creativity and learning the ability to maintain a healthy alpha speed 
at 10 Hz for adults, is a crucial indicator of cognitive performance. Cognitive issues are possible if the alpha starts to slow down due to aging, head trauma, toxic exposure, etc. Here's an example. At number 4, Theta Waves. Theta waves are the brain waves of sleep or daydreaming when awake. They range from 4 to 8 Hertz. These waves are linked to low alertness and relaxation. They happen while you're daydreaming, sleepy or drowsy. Theta waves are associated with the rapid eye movement phase, REM, often known as stage 2 sleep. These waves are present in both children and adults, but as children grow, their brains start to produce more alpha waves and fewer theta waves. Role of theta waves in maintaining brain health. A theta state may help with anxiety reduction and the processing of traumatic memories that may arise in post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD. It induces self and spiritual awareness, focus, meditation, cognition, and behavior, including learning and memory. According to a study done in 2001, the hippocampal and limbic theta are highly engaged in the encoding of significant events into long-term memory. Here's an example. At number 5, Delta Waves. Delta waves, that oscillate in the frequency of 0.5 to 4 Hz, are low-frequency waves. It is associated with the deep sleep stage 3 of NREM sleep, also known as slow wave sleep. When you are deeply relaxed and sleeping, your brain releases delta waves. Role of delta waves in maintaining brain health. During sleep, delta waves initiate the release of hormones that assist the body in healing and recuperating. Infants under one year of age spend the most time in the delta state as they develop, they eventually lose the capacity to stay conscious and in the delta. Scientific research has shown that women have higher delta activity than men. Staying in the delta state releases anti-aging hormones like melatonin and DHEA, which is necessary for a good night's sleep. People suffering from insomnia probably don't produce enough delta waves. Entering the delta state and maintaining awareness may assist you to tap into the unconscious mind and higher spiritual consciousness. Here's an example. That was all about the five famous brain waves now it's time for the bonus part. Do you know that there are two less known, yet effective brain waves? Lambda waves and epsilon waves. Despite being at the opposite ends of the spectrum, these two brain wave types are very closely related. Come, let's understand it. What are epsilon waves? Epsilon waves oscillate at a frequency of 0.01 Hz to half a Hz, and also known as infralow frequencies. To give you a sense of how low that is, most electroencephalogram devices EEG, are not able to measure below half a hertz. In addition to tracking rock and petroleum formations beneath the Earth's surface, these frequencies are frequently used in ballistocardiography and seismocardiography to examine the mechanics of the heart. Epsilon waves exhibit the same writing behavior as lambda waves. If you zoom in far enough, an extremely slow epsilon wave can be seen embedded within the lambda wave. Thus, between the extremely high and the very low end of the brain wave spectrum, there appears to be a circular pattern. This is when things start to get fascinating. At present, there is not enough scientific data 
regarding the benefits of epsilon brainwave entrainment, though it is suggested that listening to the infralow frequencies may allow us to access the state of suspended animation, extraordinary state of consciousness, higher awareness, wherein you're alive, but with no perceivable heartbeat, pulse or respiration. Yogis and meditation masters, with years of practice, can experience such an altered state of suspended animation or samadhi. Here's an example. What are lambda waves? Lambda waves oscillate at a frequency of 100 to 200 Hertz. Lambda waves have a frequency that is substantially higher than the hypergamma, which is roughly 100 Hertz. As mentioned earlier, lambda and epsilon waves have a lot in common. If you zoom in far enough, a very fast lambda wave can be observed, interestingly embedded, within the slow epsilon wave. The experienced meditators, such as the Tibetan monks, can tap into the lambda wave brain state to spend hours in the Himalayan highlands, surviving the extreme cold effortlessly. It is often linked with a much higher level of consciousness, a state of oneness and wholeness beyond just deep meditation or spiritual consciousness. The true benefits of lambda waves are still unexplored, but it is often linked with a moment of discovery and insight that is indescribable. Methods to increase your brain waves. Your gamma and delta brain waves can be increased by eating nuts like pistachios and peanuts in your diet, respectively. Gamma wave generation in the brain can be increased by various forms of meditation and breathing exercises. According to a study, auditory stimulation like binaural beats or music can increase your alpha and theta brain waves. Additionally, your ability to stay in an alpha state is increased through mindfulness, meditation, and listening to alpha binaural beats. Binaural beats can promote delta wave production. Listening to delta tracks before sleep can improve your sleep quality. A word of caution related to brain waves. Due to the lack of sufficient scientific data to measure results and possible benefits of the lambda and epsilon waves, there aren't many audio recordings for sale on the popular brainwave entrainment stores. Being extremely high frequency waves, lambda waves, may cause headaches, in some people. Additionally, if you do brainwave entrainment, then do not listen to brainwaves audio, while operating any machinery, driving, or engaging in any activity, that needs complete focus, you should perform it, either in supine or being seated, in the lotus position of meditation. There has never been, a documented case, of a negatively affected pregnancy, attributed to brainwave entrainment of any kind. But we still recommend pregnant women, to kindly avoid, brainwave entrainment sessions. For people, who are new to brainwave entrainment music, we recommend, starting with the most common brainwave states, such as Delta, Theta, Alpha, and Beta. For more brainwave entrainment, and rife frequency based sound healing, that targets ailments like diabetes, high blood pressure, breast cancer, improve eyesight, etc. Consider checking Majestic Freak on YouTube. Thank you for watching, kindly subscribe to Majestic Freak, and share it with those who seek healing.